what is up guys welcome back to the channel we are starting a new series that are um you know we've got some of these videos that already exist here but we're gonna we're gonna update them um go through basically all of the duck calls one at a time um just because we get requests all the time what does this call sound like what am i doing wrong so we're just going to kind of run through the basics of each call or a representative of that series of calls. So the first one is going to be my baby, the cut down 2.0. If you've watched any of the Duck Commander videos since we've come out with this, this is my go-to duck call that we have. Um, this is the one that's at the bottom of my lanyard. It is the first one I grab whenever I'm out there duck hunting. So. Um, you know, it's kind of built off of the old cut down reacher slash cut down magnum. It's kind of a throwback to our original Duck Commander days. And it's just a sound that I really like. You'll hear it when I go through it here in a little bit. It's kind of, it's really raspy, which I like because to me, wild ducks are very raspy. Um, it'll clear up once you get on it a little bit and it gets kind of nasally. So, I mean, it's got a lot of different levels, a lot of little nuances and then stuff that you can get out of this duck call once you you really master it blow it a lot um all those kinds of things it's not necessarily an easy duck call to blow it takes a little more air than some of ours say like the duck picker and camo max and things like that so um it's it's really very pressure dependent so you know you may pick it up first time out of the package and blow it now like, oh that don't sound like much but just trust me Keep working at it and find that sweet spot of the air pressure and you'll really like this call. I have I have taken a lot of mallard ducks with this little clear blue thing here. So this, as you can see, this is just a production sample. There's not one off my lanyard. I, I have not done anything to this. So this is, this is how you guys would get it if you buy it at one of our partners or online at duckcommander.com. This is exactly the call you would get, but let's go through it. So there's a lot of things, um, that humans make uh, ducks want to do, but ducks really don't do a whole lot of things. They do like three things. They do a feed call, they do a quack, and they do a greeting call. Now within those, there's different variations of every one of them, and we've kind of called them, made up things for what they really are. I guess you could even throw a comeback call in there, because I do see wild ducks do that when ducks flush. If they, the other ducks were lazy and didn't want to get up to get them to come back to them, a lot of times I'm <laughs> real fast but we'll go through that too um, but they're really just all kinds of different variations off of those main three things um, so let's just start basic right quack what does a duck do quack I got eight month old twins at the house now what do the people on TV and stuff that they watch to kind of educate them say you know the, the mommy duck says quack 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 so they actually have it in a pretty good cadence, so that's actually what's kind of funny about the song. Um, but anyway, it's just a quack. So to get a quack and the sound of a quack out of the 2.0 is going to be pretty nasally and raspy. Phil likes to say it like you're saying 10 into the duck call. Now here's the deal. If you try to, I, I can't talk into a duck call, so I don't, Whenever I tell people, you know, like, what do you say into it? And I'm like, man, I really don't know. I just try to mimic a mallard hen. Um, but what Phil is, the point Phil is getting across when he says 10. When you say 10, your tongue hits the roof of your mouth twice. Now, what are you doing by that? Whenever you do that, you are putting your air under pressure. So you built the pressure with tuh. You release the pressure with eh, and then you put the pressure back on with the end of it. So 10. So when you do that, it'll come out something like <coughs> It's just an easy way to explain to you guys how air pressure works. Because if you just blow, <coughs> duck calls don't work. It, it's air presented under pressure to the reed. So it's It's not. So that's a quack right there. Just, just single. Whack, 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 whack. The greeting call can be three, five, seven, nine, eleven. Doesn't matter how many notes you make it. 
just know that wild ducks always do it in odd numbers. It's wild, you're crazy, you're thinking, well, how do you know that? I have listened to wild ducks a lot in my life. And for some reason, I started counting one day. And it's always an odd number. So just remember that. I don't know that ducks can count while they're flying and you're working them, but when ducks do a call, like a, something other than a series of quacks, when they put them together, it's always an odd number. It's crazy. It's just one of them, the more you know, right? But a greeting call is just like quacks that are strung together. The first one is long as cat, 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 cat. But it's all built off of the foundation of the quack. So that first note is longer. And they just get shorter as they go. Same thing as wild ducks do. They don't go short. They don't, yeah, I don't even know how you would blow short than long. I, don't, I have no idea. That doesn't even make sense to me. So first one is a little long. And in that, you hear the rasp, you hear the nasal that I'm talking about. Now, I'm not blowing really hard. We're in a controlled environment. This room will echo a lot worse than the wide open will. So I'm trying to not, I mean, but you can hammer on this thing. You can get it really clear. You can do a lot of different things with it. Uh, but again, we're just going through the basics for you guys. Uh, feed call. Another one that's just basic. Ticka, ticka, ticka. That's it. You just took it, took it, took it, took it, took it. If you want to get more aggressive with it, you can. You can. But that's really what ducks do a lot more when they're flying. It's uh, when they're on the water, they're way more broken up. You watch back on the videos, a lot of times, first thing I do when I pick up a duck call is <coughs> I do that. You know why I do that? Not because I think that's what ducks sound like, because it breaks my reeds apart. So if it's been a while, I haven't blown. If I know it's a really humid morning, I've spit in my call, a hundred different things. I'm just trying to break my reeds apart so that I can get them harmonizing together. So, um, but that's it, man. That's the cut down 2.0 in a nutshell. Uh, really good duck call. I'm kind of partial to it. Like I said, it's kind of a throwback. It's one that's uh, very similar to what I started blowing growing up, but to me, it still sounds a lot like a Mallard duck.